Good morning. Welcome to Zion Dew. My name is Edna, and I'll be sharing the word of God with you this morning. Today, I want to talk about um, keys for this season. I want to talk about what we need in this season to help us unlock what God has in store for us. I believe that in every season, God has provided something. God has uh, put in store what we need to be able to take us through that season, to live victoriously in that season. So each season has its own need. Each season has its own equipment. Each season has its own um, spiritual resources that God has made available. That's why from one season to another, we may not do warfare the same way. We may not do things the same way. Every season we need to sit down and ask God what is in store for this is what are we supposed to do how do we work with god in this season how do we um, operate in this season but i believe that in this particular season and especially now that we are in the passover season i believe that there are some keys that we need to have in place that will help us unlock the blessings god has for us that will help us unlock the revelation that god has for us and actually even for any kind of season there are two major keys that I want to talk about. Actually, not two, there are three. Um, one of them is praying in the spirit. I believe that this is a season where we need to really pray in the spirit so that we get our hearts and our minds in tune with what the Holy Spirit is saying, in tune with heaven. Jude, chapter, Jude verse 20, Jude is only one chapter. Verse 20 says, But you, beloved, building yourselves up, on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. So the Bible encourages us to pray in the Holy Spirit. Why? Because it builds up our most holy faith. It builds up our faith in God. When you pray in the Spirit, you can feel your faith rising up. Sometimes when you've been down a lot, when you've gone through a rough patch in life, and when you just take up um, praying in the Spirit, sometimes you can see you know, there's a difference in the way even your spirit feels. There's a way... Uh, the Holy Spirit will do something inside of you and bring you up to a place of faith where you can trust God once more. And in this season, we really need to pray in the Spirit because we need to key in to what the Holy Spirit is saying. We need to key in to heaven. So praying in the Spirit is very important. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. I'll just read it in the Passion Translation. And in a similar way, the Holy Spirit takes hold of us in our human frailty to empower us in our weakness. So the Holy Spirit comes when we are weak, when we don't know how to pray. For example, at times we don't even know how to pray or know the best things to ask for. But the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede on our behalf. To super intercede on our behalf, pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. I like this translation because of how it puts it. You know, the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede on our behalf. So as we are praying in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit rises up and begins to help us to pray. So that in the season when we don't know what to do, when things are hard, when things are tough, um, we need to hear what, the, what God is saying. And the Holy Spirit will help us as we are praying in the Spirit he will help us know what to pray. He will bring to our mind the things that we need to ask God for, the things that we need to intercede for. So praying in the spirit is very important in this season. If you can just be blocking some time in the day in your life to just spend time praying in the spirit, not necessarily coming up with a prayer point or with needs, you know, the list of things, but just releasing yourself to the Holy Spirit. And you have, you have not been able to uh, uh, receive that ability to pray in the spirit, you can ask God. The Bible says that he has given his spirit freely to us only. So if you're not able to do that, ask God. Pray and ask God, help me. I want to be able to pray in tongues. I want to be able to pray in the spirit. Because that is so important for us as, as, as sons of God in this season. The second key I want to give us is meditation on the word. I've come to realize that meditating on the word is so important because it changes your way of thinking. It, it does something to your mind. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, 
that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So the Bible encourages us to meditate on the word of God. So it's not just any kind of meditation. I'm not talking about, you know, meditating, just keeping quiet and just meditating with a focus on the word of God. Why? Because the word of God is life. So when you're meditating on the word of God, you're meditating on life. You're meditating on what brings life unto you because the word of God is life. You're filling your thought life with life because God's word is life. And you're, you're, you're changing, you're allowing your, your mind to be renewed. You know, the Bible says in Romans 12 that we ought to have our minds renewed. Okay, so that renewal of the mind is something that comes as you meditate on the word. Take a scripture, take a portion of scripture, and just focus on it for a few minutes. You know, just focus on it, or keep just repeating it to yourself throughout the day. You know, that is meditation. So just make sure you, you can put that into part of your life. Let it become a, a lifestyle in you, so that it's something that you do often. You know, meditating on the word of God. I believe that meditation leads to the renewing of your mind because it's like thought replacement therapy. It's like a therapy that replaces any negative thought that you have, any thought that is not aligned with the word of God, the word of God comes and replaces it. So the more you focus on the word, like let's say for example, Psalm 23 verse 1, it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. That is one of the scriptures that I've been meditating on, you know, for some time now. Every time when I go to bed, I just focus on those words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I think about it, I repeat it to myself, make a song out of it, the Lord is my shepherd. So you see, if I had any thoughts about fear, if I had any thoughts about, if I had any worries in my heart, if I had any anxiety, you see, it goes out. Because now I am focusing on the Lord being my shepherd. I'm focusing on the fact that the Lord is the one who meets all my needs. So I'm not worried about provision. So that's how it works. So meditation is one of the keys that helps us to unlock what God has for us. So as you meditate on the word of God, then he begins to bring to your mind even the things that he's saying for this season. The third key I want to give us is worship. Worship brings in the atmosphere of heaven into your own sphere. So as you worship the Lord, because you're focusing on the Lord, because you're, you're lifting up the Lord, the name of the Lord, you're praising the Lord, you're exalting the Lord before your eyes, then it lifts you up into a different atmosphere, into a different, uh, you begin to see things in a different way. Number one, worship brings in the atmosphere of heaven into your own sphere. So it changes your own sphere. Number two, worship elevates you to where God is because now you're focusing on God, on, on the greatness of God, the goodness of God, the mighty power of the Lord, you know? So everything that the Lord is. So it takes you from where you are to where God is. You stop focusing on your circumstances. You stop worrying about things around you because it elevates you to where God is. Worship quiets the soul as you focus more on God and less on yourself or the world around you. And sometimes we just need that, especially in a, in a season where there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of worry around us. We need to just quiet our soul and just focus on the Lord. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. That being still is very important because it says when you're still, then you will know that he's God. He will be exalted among the nations. That means as you become still and begin to know that he is God, then you'll see him exalted, okay? You'll see him exalted. You'll be able to see that God is greater than the things you're going through, that God is mightier than the things that you're facing in life, okay? So be still and know that I am God. We need to quiet our soul, and sometimes one of the things to do that is worship. Just get into a time of worship. Just focus on the Lord. Begin to exalt God. Begin to speak well of the Lord, begin to worship, adore him, you know, bless his holy name. Talk about the things that he has done, you know, give thanks for what he has done. And that will like change even the way you're feeling and it will begin to change even the atmosphere around you. People will begin to see you and wonder what has happened. It is because you have tuned in to the place where God is. You have been elevated to the place where God is. So I believe those are some of the keys that we can 
uh, have in our lives in this season and, and just be able to unlock what God for, has for us and get revelation of what God is saying and be able to live victoriously in this season. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for a wonderful day. I thank you, God, for those who are listening to me right now. I pray for them that, Lord, they will be able to use these keys in their lives, that they will make these things a part of their daily lives, a part of their lifestyle, and that they will begin to experience you more in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that as we begin a new day, Lord, you are with us. You go before us. You bless our way, O oh God, today. We thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.